Hey guys, welcome back to the channel again. As you can see, I got a very special guest for you, Joey the Astronomer. Yes, he's Joey and I'm Joe, and you're back on this channel with us. Hopefully, at least one of your favorite people. So anyway, Joey, so here's what we're gonna do. Don't, don't go far, come closer so people can see. We're gonna be talking about zoom eyepieces, okay? And we're gonna be talking about this one. The SV Boney, the three to eight zoom. Let's get to it. And remember, I also have a a members only video it's only 99 cents a month I give you at least one video a month plus I put your name on the okay so I decided to get this zoom eyepiece here and in general I don't really like zoom eyepieces because the quality well two reasons okay the quality seems to be not so good especially if you get those ones from amazon i can't remember those other cheaper name brands or whatever um it's just a quality and it seems to have like chromatic aberration in there very false color so i don't like those very cheapy ones two things that i think are like is the the quality is not as good unless you get a really good one like the teleview has a three to six zoom um, debater has a, a good one Celestron and Mead one is okay other thing is the field of view is kind of narrow on almost all of these so I got this one now this is a three to eight zoom so this would be good for your high powers so what's nice about it is let's say two things you go away like I did uh, a couple times and you don't want to bring like a 32 millimeter, a 20 millimeter, a 15, a 12, a 6, a 4, or something like that. You don't want to take multiple eyepieces. So what I did when I went on a trip again, I brought the Skywatcher Heritage uh, telescope, and it only has a 750 millimeter focal length. Right, Joey? Good boy. I brought a 32 millimeter for low power. And then I just brought this one. I didn't bring anything in the middle because a 32 millimeter eyepiece in that telescope gets us uh, 23 power, which is very comfortable for really low, like low power stuff. And even on this one that goes to eight millimeter, 750 divided by eight, we get 93. So it's not really jumping a whole lot. Now, if that telescope had a longer focal length, then it would be probably jumping too much. So on this time, I brought this guy as my, you know, so I can go from the 32, and then I just jump, put this one in, eight, and then seven, six, five, four, three, and then uh, there we go. So it does have a little bit of weight to it, and it basically covers almost all the power. The three millimeter gets us in that telescope, the Heritage, uh, divided by three gets us 250 power. So, which is pretty comfortable for most things anyway. This guy has a little bit of weight to it. So it means normally uh, good quality. Um, I believe it's a 56 degree field of view. Now, I believe it says for all of the focal lengths. Now, I don't know 100% if that's true, but it seems to be about there. The eye relief, the field of view seems to be that I'm pretty comfortable. So if you like using like super palazzos, which are about 52 degree field of view, and they claim this is 56, which I think I agree because I didn't notice. I didn't notice it to change that much. So I kind of believe them when they say that. And I believe it's a six element um, in a few different groups so again it's well done it has a foldable eye cup it's threaded for filters so that's that's what i bought it for also a second thing that for me what would be good with this eyepiece is i do a lot of comparisons between this scope and that scope 
and most of the times the focal length and the focal ratio is going to be different and even though as my high power i have let's say uh, an 8.8 .8, and now i have the ultra wide series by mead 4000 japan ones which were considered to be extremely well done uh, so i got um you know the high power 8.8 .8, the 6.7 and the 4.7 ultra wide angle but even sometimes those three let's say when i'm comparing two different telescopes the powers are a little bit off so with this guy by having three four five six seven and eight millimeter i could actually choose one of those with the three high power ones i have as well and i could try to get as close as in power as i can and uh so that's it so let's try this guy out uh, and see is is this a good zoom now i did test the the teleview three to six zoom this one's very similar, but it goes to eight millimeter, an extra two focal lengths, which is kind of neat. So I just wanted to show you this guy. Uh, I wanted to test it and see how does it do? How does it perform? But why don't we take a break? Okay, Joey, I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, so here's the update. So I did use this guy a couple times one was at a star party and one uh both times were with the sky watcher heritage i will use it a few more times but my update is after using it i you know for a zoom eyepiece which so far i have not liked except for the teleview three to six but that's a very expensive eyepiece i believe it's 550 to 600 dollars so I did use it on the channel once, but only on the members videos, but I kind of like this for a couple reasons. I believe it's true. It's, it's 56 degree field of view across the full range. Okay. It has a nice weight. It, uh, I like the color red. The eye relief is perfect. Um, maybe if you have glasses on, you know, it might be a little tight, but it's not too bad. Um, I like the click stop. It's very similar to the Teleview where you, if you set it at eight and then you click it, you know that's uh, seven, then six, then five, four, three, etc. So you know where you're at. It feels like pretty good quality. Now it's not so cheap. In Canada, this is $199, okay? And I picked it up, used it again a few times. I like this. So I'm going to start using this, uh, I think, for my high power, power views or when I travel, I can just bring this and this covers everything from eight to three and wherever it lets me, the sky conditions let me go is where I'll go. I can bring one or two for the low and medium and that's all I need. Uh, maybe a filter, you know, that type of thing. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to let you guys know I enjoyed it. It's not so cheap. Uh, again, something like the very, very cheap ones on Amazon a Canadian, you know, you can find some for $25 to $39. If you get those ones, the 7 to 21, the 8 to 24, I, most people are not going to be happy with them. The quality's kind of junky. It's kind of low end. But I guess if you really can't afford much, then okay. And again, with tax, I believe it's about 80 bucks round around. And this one, you're jumping to about 200 bucks Canadian. Joey, you can't have that. That's my eye cup. I know what you want. You want to start, you, you want to grab it and start eating it, right? Now, what am I going to do for a cover when I need one? Yeah, I thought so. <clears throat> anyway, so I give this a two thumbs up. If you're looking for a good quality, um, you know, without spending hundreds and hundreds, and you want something like a zoom for the more higher power, then this I think will suffice for most people. Uh, the people that want the ultra, like the best, then you might want, uh, I guess, the Teleview uh, type of thing. But I liked it, I enjoyed it. Uh, also, when I do comparisons, this is gonna come in handy. That way I can try to find the closest power because that's also important when you're comparing telescopes. Again, guys, that's it for this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, all right? Uh, you want to step up, Joey, for the ending of this? Say hi to everybody out there. 
um, like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys would like to join the members video, it's only 99 cents. If you know anybody on the forums, hopefully they can share the link with us. Is that okay to say? And um, why don't you look towards the camera? Okay, he wants to see what I'm saying. He's actually a talking parrot, but uh, he doesn't always like to talk and he knows the camera's on because I got the light on. So anyway, there we go. Okay guys, why not you, why not me?